Chapter 1 India as rich heritage India is a country with a unique and rich culture languages many languages are spoken in different states of India different forms of the same language are called the dialects nearly 800 languages and dialects are spoken in India Hindi is the national language of India a large number of people speak Hindi the constitution of our country recognizes 22 languages these are as under assamese bengali bodo dogri gujarati hindi kannada kashmiri konkani maithili malayalam manipuri marathi nepali odia punjabi sanskrit santali sindhi tamil telugu urdu english is read and spoken in almost every state of india each language has its own style of writing called script most of the indian languages except kashmiri sindhi and urdu are written from left to right the kashmiri sindhi and urdu are written from right to left dances there are two main types of dances folk dances and classical dances folk dances are common on special occasions such as festivals weddings birth of a child sowing and harvesting of crops etc these are generally performed in groups some of the popular folk dances are bhangra ghumar garba tamasha bihu lavni classical dances began as a form of worship in the temples the themes for these dances are taken from our rich mythological traditions classical dances were also performed for kings and rulers most of the states have their typical classical dance forms such as bharatanatyam kuchipudi odissi kathak manipuri kathakali mohiniyattam another form of the classical dances in india is the dance drama such as kathakali and yakshagana in the dance drama the stories are told through dances music hindustani music and carnatic music are the two types of classical music hindustani music was developed and is practiced in north india while carnatic music is practiced in south india a large variety of musical instruments are used sitar veena saroj flute mridangam tabla dholak harmonium and violin are some instruments used by the classical musicians some other musical instruments are shehnai santur and sarangi the indian music is based on the combination of raga and thal ragas are sung during a particular seasons of the year thal binds the music and is called the pulse of indian music music is considered as the soul of dance painting painting as an art form has flourished in india from very early period indian paintings can be broadly classified as murals and miniatures mural are huge works done on the walls of solid structures for example the ajanta and yellora paintings miniature painting are those done on a small scale on materials such as cloth and paper the rajputs had their own miniature they drew the scenes from the life of lord rama and lord krishna if you live in a big city you can visit an art gallery and see the paintings of modern artists architecture the ruins of indus valley civilization palaces forts and other old buildings are examples of the rich architectural heritage of india they give us important information about the life led by the people in the past ashoka and his successors built beautiful stupas at sanchi and sarnath the ancient temples of madurai tanjavur belur helbit dilwara ranakpur khajrao puri konark and kailash temple at elora are known for their artistic work all over the world 
The Turks and Mughals brought their own style of architecture to India. The Taj Mahal with its dome and minarets as the best example, the Qutub Minar, Red Fort, Juma Masjid and Humayun's tomb in Delhi are few examples of their grand architecture. The British brought new styles of architecture to India. A few of their architectural marvels are the Victoria Memorial in Kolkata, Rashtrapati Bhavan and Parliament House in Delhi. Some of the modern buildings built in the recent times are the Baha'i Temple, Bidhan Sauda, the Akshardham Temple, Statue of Unity is an example of modern architecture. All the monuments stand for the wonderful and splendid architecture.